Myelin figures develop when certain lipids, such as phospholipid and soaps of long chain fatty acids, are exposed to water. They appear under the light microscope as cylinders and spheres of different sizes. The spheres are sometimes located at the ends of cylinders. Myelin figures are composed of concentric arrangements of lipid bilayers separated by water spaces. When the lipid bilayers are tightly packed, they have a periodicity of 40 angstroms. And they appear under the phase contrast microscope as rigid, thick-walled structures. When the lipid bilayers are widely separated by water, they appear as thin, flexible structures. This film shows that long-chain fatty acids produced by lipolysis can form myelin figures under certain conditions. Droplets of trioleoglycerol, 1 to 27 microns in diameter, were suspended from the glass cover slip of a flow-through chamber and complexed with lipase by perifusing the droplets for seven minutes with pancreatic lipase in sodium chloride solution at pH 6.5. The lipid droplets did not change in appearance when perifused with sodium chloride solution, even though 20% of the triacylglycerol was hydrolyzed in 30 minutes. Lipid droplets complexed with lipase transform into other structures when perifused with sodium barbitol solution at pH 8.1. The small, light-colored droplets change to gray disks, while the large droplets project small serpentine structures that later coil on themselves and return to the lipid droplets. Thin-walled structures sometimes project from large droplets as tubules or strings of vesicles. Tubules are now appearing at the lower right margin of the large lipid droplet. A dark serpentine structure is extending outward from the upper right margin of the large droplet. A broad thin wall structure with a wide aqueous space is developing at the upper left margin of the large droplet. Another tubule is projecting downward from the left margin of the large droplet. The broad, thin-walled structure above the lipid droplet is butting several tubules. Other tubules are projecting from the right margin of the droplet. A string of interconnected vesicles, about 8 microns in diameter, is projecting from the lower right margin of the large droplet. In the meantime, the tubules above the large droplet have been transforming into strings of vesicles. The small light-colored triacylglycerol droplet at the left of the large droplet is rapidly disappearing as it converts to a gray disk of lipolytic products. Some of the myelin figures below the lipid droplet appear as long dark structures with bulbous tips.
The fatty acids produced by lipolysis are protonated, and if not ionized, they locate primarily in lenses or lipid droplets. Fatty acids are partially ionized at pH 8.1 to acid soaps, which are strongly amphipathic, and locate immediately at lipid water interfaces. The growth of myelin figures, when pH is increased from 6.5 to 8.1, results from accumulation of acid soaps at the lipid water interfaces. Transformation of tubules to vesicles, of the size seen here, occurs when the outer leaflet of the bilayer acquires one half percent more lipid than the inner leaflet. The reverse transformation from vesicles to tubules occurs when the difference in lipid content between the two leaflets is reduced. Transformation of vesicles to a tubule is occurring at the top of the field near the lipid droplet. The strings of vesicles above the lipid droplet are changing to tubules. The large lipid droplet has decreased from 27 to 12 microns in diameter during the last seven minutes. Transformation of the 16 vesicles in the upper field to tubules has taken two minutes. Many forms of myelin figures are present at 20 minutes after pH of the medium was increased to 8.1. They include thick-walled tubules, some with circular dilatations, strings of vesicles of different sizes, circular whorls, and long, thin serpentine structures. Indented circular whorls seen at the lower left margin of the lipid mass are formed by intersusception of interconnected vesicles. The process involves multiple invaginations of vesicles. The bulbous tips of myelin figures are sometimes formed by coiling or twisting at the distal end of the figures. Myelin figures formed from lipolytic products are rapidly transformed to lipid droplets when perifused at pH 5.5 with Tris Malleate solution. The myelin figures are quickly retracted to sites of origin as acid soaps in the bilayers become protonated and form lipid droplets between leaflets of the bilayers. The return of fatty acids to sites of lipolysis demonstrates that the leaflets of bilayers of myelin figures are continuous with the lipid monolayer surrounding triacylglycerol.